Do you think the Fed is going to lower interest rates anytime soon? I do. It's already looking to be priced in about 50% odds by next May, which is not that far away. Sure. We should see our first rate hike, uh, hike, excuse me, rate cut. Right. Um, and I think this week on Friday, you're going to get that PCE number, which is the Fed's preferred measure of inflation. That should come down again, which will be very, very optimistic. And, and that's what's been driving the November rally, because it was a terrific rally in November, and it was all predicated on the Fed lowering rates at some point in the near future. That's exactly correct, because two weeks ago you had that inflation number come in better than expected, so one would think the Fed now uh, is closer to putting the brakes on any more rate hikes and ideally cutting next year, because if you take shelter costs out of the inflation number, you're almost down to 2% already, and shelter is a lag. So yeah. that's one of the reasons why I've seen a huge rally in the last two weeks. Uh, refer to the holiday shopping period, not the one to come, but the one we've just had, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, the weekend. Uh, it seems that consumers were out there quite prepared to spend. It wasn't a huge record spending period, but they're spending. Well, how does that factor into your equation? I mean, that's, that's what the U.S. economy is all about. So Americans love to spend money. Um, they're doing it in droves this year, better than expected they've been spending this year. In fact, the estimate over the holidays was like $966 billion of spending this year. It's a record. That's 4% better than last year, roughly. So I think the, the big story this year is everyone has been a little dour on the American consumer, and the American consumer has done phenomenally well. That's why the market's up. That's why GDP growth has been an all-time record high. Um, you look at, you know, the news has been good. So this is your optimistic forecast. We've got an optimistic situation here, optimistic for the market. We're going higher from here. Yeah, I believe you should position your portfolio for optimism. Okay. And optimism is rates go down next year, markets go higher. Um, you don't want to be sitting in cash here at 5% because the rate, if those rate cuts next year, I've mentioned this a lot, your 5% goes away real quickly, Stuart. But so position for optimism. Yes. Get out of 5% cash, get into stocks. Yeah, and lock into bonds longer term. I mean, the 10 years at 5% a couple weeks ago, it's at 4.4% today. So you're missing out on locking in at like a decade plus high in interest yeah. rates. You've got I, I just wonder how much the Fed is going to be willing to cut interest rates in an election year. I, I think I mean, there are May political of next year. undertones. Higher odds, right? I mean, election yeah. year, they're going to pull out all the stops. And I'm a cynic. I think it is kind of a political position. I think the Fed's going to cut. And if they beat inflation, which it looks like they are, um, it's going to come down to where they want it to be. Why wouldn't they cut? All right, I'm getting out of the 5% <laughs> treasuries. I'm back into the market full term. Right, thanks <laughs> Some for free advice right. for you. Yeah, that's free advice. Very good. Thanks very much, Ryan.